Facebookbits.com presents Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. What is the nature of space and time? How do we fit within the universe? How does the universe fit within us? There's no better guide through these mind-expanding questions than acclaimed astrophysicist and best-selling author Neil deGrasse Tyson. But today, few of us have time to contemplate the cosmos. So Tyson brings the universe down to Earth succinctly and clearly with sparkling wit in tasty chapters consumable anytime and anywhere in your busy day. While you wait for your morning coffee for, to brew, for the bus, the train, or a plane to arrive, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry will reveal just what you need to be fluent and ready for the next cosmic headlines. From the Big Bang to black holes, from quarks to quantum mechanics, and from the search for planets to the search for life in the universe. The written and audio summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring the book summary of Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. It's quite difficult to summarize a book such as Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, not only because the subjects it deals with are grand on any scale, the creation of the universe, its structure, dark matter, dark energy, etc., but also because Tyson presents them in a way which makes the presentation dependent on both his style and his analogies. Once you conceptualize these, you'll never forget what they are, in fact, standing for and explaining. As he explains in the preface, that's Tyson's very goal to make you culturally conversant in his field of expertise. The Big Bang. About 13.8 billion years ago, when the universe started expanding from a very high temperature and high density state, creating space, time, physical laws, and everything else. Speaking of physical laws, let's get one thing straight. Tyson is quite adamant in insisting that the most of the things he talks about are undeniably true. The power and beauty of physical laws, he writes, is that they apply everywhere, whether or not you choose to believe in them. In other words, after the laws of physics, everything else is opinion. So is a fact that Earth didn't exist for the first two-thirds of the time the universe has existed and that it was first formed around 4.5 billion years ago. Even more interesting, it took billions of years for the earliest plants to appear on the planet and almost a billion more for the earliest apes. In other words, Homo sapiens have been around for no more than, say, 300,000 years, which means only about 0.006% of the time the Earth is around. And that's where things get even more interesting. During this time, humanity, basically stardust brought to life, has discovered numerous physical laws and has devised hundreds of theories to explain their origin and meaning. So it is basically as if the universe is learning about its beginnings through us. While explaining Einstein's prediction of gravitational waves and the importance of their first ever detection in 2015, Tyson beautifully summarizes his full circle. Namely, when the now detected gravitational waves were generated by a collision of black holes in a galaxy 1.3 billion light years away, there were only single celled organisms on this planet. And while these gravitational waves were traveling, the Earth would manage to evolve complex life, including flowers and dinosaurs and flying creatures, as well. It's a branch of vertebrates called mammals. The primates branched out of these mammals, and then in the last 10,000 years, a single branch of these primates would develop a genetic mutation that allowed speech, and that branch, Homo sapiens, would invent agriculture and civilization and philosophy and art and science. Then came Einstein, and he devised the theory of relativity, which predicted the existence of these gravitational waves. A century later, people developed technology powerful enough to see these waves, and humanity would finally catch up with the prediction, just days before the gravitational wave, which had been traveling for 1.3 billion years, washed over Earth and was detected. Now that's beautiful. But as deGrasse Tyson demonstrate, it's merely the beginning. Since as much as we know, or as in this case, have probably predicted well enough about the universe, there's much more that we don't know. Take dark matter and dark energy, for example. They make up most of our universe, and still, we know nothing about them, except for the fact they exist. It's basically as if we know nothing about water, so there's still plenty to learn, and all of its promises to be a magnificent adventure. Key lessons from astrophysics for people in a hurry. Number one, you drink the water Yangus Khan once drank. Number two, Isaac Newton robbed God of his job. And number three, the cosmic perspective. You drink the water Yangus Khan once drank. We mentioned water at the end of our summary. Here's an interesting fact about the all-important substance. 
Every cup that passes through a single person and eventually rejoins the world's water supply holds enough molecules to mix 1,500 of them into every other cup of water in the world. No way around it. Some of the water you just drank passed through the kidneys of Socrates, Yangus Khan, and Joan of Arc. Wow. Or maybe, ugh. Isaac Newton robbed God of his job. Even after it was conclusively proven that the earth is not the center of the universe, philosophers still believed in some divine presence because some of the planet's motions were inexplicable. Then Isaac Newton came and he rendered all motion comprehensible and predictable. What should the creator do now? Asked the theologians. And if there's nothing he should do, doesn't that mean that he might as well not exist? DeGrasse Tyson and many other astrophysicists don't think that these are difficult questions. According to them, the facts prove conclusively, even if God does exist, he has absolutely no explanatory value. The Cosmic Perspective If you ask the most important chapter of this whole book, the culmination to which all other chapters build to is the last one, Reflections on the Cosmic Perspective. What it all boils down to. First of all, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. And secondly, that the Earth is a nothing more than a moat. But it is a precious moat, and for that moment, it's the only home we have. How important is this revelation, this cosmic perspective of our existence? Well, let's see what Tyson has to say on the subject. Now imagine a world in which everyone, but especially people with power and influence, holds an unexpanded view of our place in the cosmos. With that perspective, our problems would shrink or never arise at all, and we could celebrate our earthly differences while shunning the behavior of our predecessors who slaughtered each other because of them. Astrophysics for people in a hurry quotes, The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. We are stardust brought to life, then empowered by the universe to figure itself out, and we have only just begun. The power and beauty of physical laws is that they apply everywhere, whether or not you choose to believe in them, in other words, after the laws of physics, everything else is opinion. We do not simply live in this universe. The universe lives within us. People who believe they are ignorant of nothing have neither looked for nor stumbled upon the boundaries between what is known and unknown in the universe. And that's a wrap on astrophysics for people in a hurry. Check out our YouTube channel with over 400 video book summaries uploaded previously. And check out our website, bestbookbits.com where you can find the written version in PDF for you to download and read offline in video categories such as biographies, business and marketing, habits, health, leadership, money, personal development, philosophy, psychology, real estate, relationships, sales, spirituality, success, and time management. If you're into audio podcasts, check out mixcloud.com forward slash bestbookbits, where you'll find the audio summary to listen to at your pleasure. And check out our Instagram page, Best Book Bits, for daily posts and motivational quotes. Thanks for watching and listening. I hope you had got something from this summary. Have yourself an amazing day. Take care.